We're on a mission. A quick mission. We're getting some draft lattes for Peter and Christina. We are just off the Armitage stop. We're gonna hop back on the train into the loop and Christina's gonna pick us up at Midway. Christina? We just said Christina. I'm also on my lunch so we can't be, we have to be We hasty. can't dilly dally. Also, back online in an hour. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Sometimes we're in Chicago and it's the best city in the whole world. And here's our stop, La Colombe. So these are draft lattes. Oh. So like similar like beer on a, on a tap, but a latte. Delicious. Okay friends, we are home. I edited the vlog, get it all situated, but Peter is extra hard at work and we're not so sure when he's going to be able to stop, so we don't all know what we're going to do tonight. Christina's going to cook for us, though. Some curried vegetables over rice, and I think I'm going to make potato wedges. But other than that, I don't know. We're just going to go with the flow and watch the Grinch. All right, it is 5.45. I keep getting confused because I look at my computer screen, and it tells me the time in East Coast time. But I'm finally done for work right now. I need to get online later and do a little bit more work. I have some reports I have due, what I need to get done tonight. It's the first thing tomorrow morning, especially with the holiday weekend coming up. But I did a lot of work today. Probably should have done a little bit more work over the weekend. Um, so it didn't kind of pile up to today, but I got it done. And I think it's early enough still because it's 5.45 that Sarah and I might be able to still make it to our college basketball game. What's going on with this? It's just rice. Rice? What is this? Curry vegetables. Chris, Chris is making curry vegetables. We're gonna have that over rice with some potato baby wannabes down there. Potato wedges. A la Sarah. And curry a la Christina. We made it. Well, kinda. Kinda. To our college, ooh, I just hit the microphone, sorry if that was a crazy noise. To our college campus. We're going to, did you already tell the vlog this? Did we tell you guys? I think we told them, but we messed up the time. We did. So when I was looking at the schedule for this game, I was in Florida, and it just showed up on Google. I didn't, like, I don't know, I don't know if I didn't just look at like the actual list like the game schedule, I don't know, but Google had said eight o'clock. So I assumed it was just eight o'clock, but I didn't think about the time change. Like it wouldn't be showing me the correct time. It was eight o'clock Eastern. <laughs> yeah. So the game started 37 minutes ago. Um, so we're a little bit late, but we we're still, still go yeah, we just still decided. The only reason I would, we literally would have walked into the game happening if I hadn't just like looked on Snapchat on the car ride and saw it because I like follow UIC Flames on Snapchat. That it was like. Oh, UIC's got Christmas decorations cute. on. Cute. That it said like, game starting now and it like showed the score and I was like, what? So, hopefully, I, I texted my old boss and he was like, we're down by 20 in the first half, so you're not missing much, but. I still I like the like the pump up the welcome yeah, and all that so I am a little bit bummed parts. bummed but it's okay at least we're still gonna make it to the game um we what is all this are not aware of what this is what it's a brand new building it's a whole brand new building that's wild for other people who know the area the UIC Pavilion is on Harrison and Racine. We don't even know where we're sitting. We got here just in time for halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, your fancy flames.
just the score is brutal. It's not looking good for our UIC Flames. <laughs> There's the court. We don't even want to tell you the final score, and that's why they took it away. <laughs> but it was fun, though. We got to see a lot of people. Saw a lot of people. Saw a lot of Sarah's old coworkers. Saw a lot of old family Love friends. Selfie. So in college, I worked for athletics marketing. I like started out just like doing like game ops. Then I did design work for them, and like. I did basically just as much work as I did school. Yeah. And so like I always joke around like the people that work at UIC were like my college friends because I spent most of my time there. So Plus, I saw a lot of people that I literally would spend like all day with. With more time with, than me, more time with the family. <laughs> Plus yeah. a lot of like the athletic association and the department, like Sarah's dad was heavily involved in the athletic association. It was always yeah, the games. I don't know games. if we've ever like truly explained that or not. Yeah. My dad was super involved. And then also like played like went here and played baseball. Hall of Famer and here. Yeah. So, so like, were, like the first baseball. People in there have known me since I was born. Yeah. Anyway, it was like seeing little pieces of of college history and family, yeah. family yeah. friends too. That so so was good. It was even so though we missed half the game. And we were chit chatting most of it, but it was great seeing everybody. <laughs> now we're gonna go play downtown somewhere where we were gonna go to last night, but we said we'd go tonight. Okay. This year's tower looks. Crazy. Also, we're on Route 66. Also, if it was a little colder, it would be snowing. Sure. But it's 45 degrees. Oh, okay, if it was a lot colder, it would be snowing. So we always park right here when we come to the Drake, which is up there. Um, this street has just like paid a park, and there's rarely anybody here. How much? How much did we pay to park here for two hours? eight bucks for two hours and I'm fairly certain that it goes free after midnight but if you get yeah. ticketed or towed it's not my fault. <laughs> also we got engaged right there. Got Under, on one knee and pop that question. That little we, stole, we stole a bunch of Christmas lights off of the gazebo <laughs> to keep us a keepsake and now it's in an ornament and decorated tree and we will show you that ornament. Yes. Also we stayed here on our wedding night just like my grandparents. There's supposed to be like a secret, like, penthouse apartment that's actually, I think it's named after Princess Diana. Really? Also haunted. Not, she said it in the wrong order. <laughs> the hotel's haunted, not Princess Diana is haunting it. Yeah, no. Didn't mean that. No. But the whiskey bar that we're going to right now, how do you even pronounce its name? I don't know. Lacuna Blue. Um, it was built in the 30s and like movie stars would famously go there including my pal your pal Walt Disney we also ate right in that restaurant right before we got engaged but it was a not called cafe oh know. and it looks so different yeah it was like a fishy farm yeah it was called like Cape Cod and now it's like this clean white farmhouse yeah, vibe weird. before it was like a um, fisherman's vibe yeah we're I forget it's like a Tuesday night at like 10 o'clock. Right. Look at this. Disney World, you're not the only place with cool gingerbread arrangements. Look at all those peppermints. Oh, oh and look. It's based off of the Palm Court. Beautiful, and it smells absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's just like candy. A beautiful tree with some angels. This is Christmas in Chicago, swanky style. We were actually, we were just talking about it earlier that we brought Sarah's mom for her birthday to high tea over there and it was Christmas edition just last year. That was awesome. That was so much fun. Yeah. Oh, wait, they have a video of them making this. Wow. Um, look at this fancy chef Santa Claus though. Get it, Christmas feast. Um, fancy, fancy, fancy. Let us know how you pronounce that. C O Q D apostrophe O R. With a chicken. The Cour Second drink in Chicago at 8 30 p.m. You know where the first one was? The Burgoff. And here we are. 
here's the history right there, and it stands for Young Rooster. And I, because I'm a sucker for specialty drinks, I'm getting a rye whiskey that's blended in Evanston, Illinois, by Few Spirits, it's especially for the drink. Just like how yesterday I had a beer especially for John Hancock, today I'm having a, a whiskey especially for the drink. One, the water in Chicago is the best because it's fresh water from a lake. Two, I love that some they give you water in a big glass. Without even asking for big it. Big glass, yeah. And Sarah has this whole bench to herself with this personal <laughs> painting. Wow. No live music today. Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Yeah, and um, I got like a cranberry spritzer. Yeah. I'm so happy. Again, the size of this glass. And that's a cranberry mojito. Yeah. And mine's, what is in yours? Mine's the Drake. It's the Drake rye whiskey. For now. Then... Shant's bitters, simple syrup. Thanks. Alrighty, we're heading out, and I've never appreciated this carpet before. Yeah. Okay, so this shop is the greatest. It's you can our, smell the flowers. It's our biggest Achilles. Yeah. Just all the tchotchkes. All the little knickknacks, it's the best. They've got. Weird stuff, great stuff, happy stuff, nostalgic Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff, Chicago stuff. stuff. Chicago, flowers, everything great. I wish we could go in. Let's break in. Maybe. Let's get, a, let's get a rest of the time. Let's get me a tattoo. <laughs> I'm trying real hard to get this Chicago tattoo, my friends. So I should have known this before, but the Palm Court where we had afternoon tea with Sue, did you know that Queen Elizabeth had afternoon tea or high tea there? In 1958, as well as Princess Diana, Hillary Clinton, and the Empress of Japan. No, I did not know. So until your invitation. I like wanted to make that like a tradition forever, well, but I don't know. Like we can come back. Okay. I mean, that, that wasn't this trip. That was. Oh, was it this trip? It was this yeah, trip last year. Yeah, it happened because Christina and Grant and Violet were in Florida, Florida. and Jenna was out of town. I don't know. Well, I mean, we can still make it happen <laughs> for Christmas, yeah, our Christmas trip, yeah. whether it's just us and Sue or us and the girls and right. Sue. Maybe it's just like a it's whatever trip in works the winter. better thing. Yeah. yeah. But this takes practice to make sure that my personal ambition Matthew doesn't Belly. get in the way of my own happiness. Work laptop. Working life. What time is it? 11.36. And I'm getting on that bike later as well. The book, the book carts are not done tonight. No. Oh, we are signing off. We're going to bed. Well, you're going to bed. <laughs> when you're watching this, we can say we're going to bed, but we're not going to bed for probably another hour and a half or two. Yeah. Um, thanks for following along with us. Yeah, we so. hope you guys are liking these vlogs. It's like, this is like such a part of like who we are, right? Yeah. Don't you think? But like no. It's like a real, a real... And tomorrow's the other real half because we went from wedding to a lot of downtown to now we're going to a lot of family in the next couple of days. Yeah. Because we're getting into more of Thanksgiving the and the part. holiday. I do have to work tomorrow, but tomorrow's the last day I have to work for a full day. And early release. And early release. Like I might have to hop on for a teensy bit like on the rest of the days. Yeah. But you probably won't see that because it'll be so little. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Put a comment down below. What are you guys um, eating for Thanksgiving? Or if you're not American celebrating human, um, put a comment down below what you're eating for dinner on Thursday. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>